A Hamilton judge brought down a guilty verdict today for the man accused of the hit and run death of conductor Boris Brat. Arsenie Lojevic was convicted of all the charges against him, but there was a last minute unexpected move in court. Al Sweeney has the story. Lojevic was convicted as the driver of this car that went speeding the wrong way down Hamilton's Main Street past City Hall on April 5, 2022 then eventually slammed into a house and a police cruiser before the driver was arrested. It followed a wild ride through the city on the wrong side of the road and running red lights. At one point, the car struck and killed internationally known conductor Boris Brat. Arsene Lodjevic of Grimsby was charged and pleaded not guilty. His lawyer, Mary Murphy, argued today that his driving did not reach the standard for criminal intent at the moment Brat was struck and killed. She said Lojevic was anxious, confused by Hamilton's one-way streets, and distracted by a white vehicle he thought was coming at him. Justice Fred Campling rejected the argument and called Lojevic's drive a shocking sequence of dangerous driving. He convicted Lojevic of dangerous driving causing death, failing to stop after an accident causing death, and breach of probation. In a surprise twist, once Lojevic was convicted, his lawyer asked the judge for a mental assessment that could have resulted in a finding that he was not criminally responsible for his actions. Those requests are usually made before a conviction. The judge said Lojevic didn't raise the issue during the trial, even though a psychiatrist testified he suffered from bipolar disorder. He said Lojevic was asking for a mental assessment now that he's facing a substantial sentence of imprisonment. He told Lojevic, you had a chance during the trial and dismissed the application. Lojevic's lawyer couldn't talk about his change of mind to raise the mental illness issue. You know, that's not really the kind of thing that I can actually discuss with you, unfortunately. It's a tragic case all around. There's nothing else I can say. It's just, it's a, an absolute tragedy. Boris Brot's family were fighting back tears in the courtroom at times. They've been in court every day for the trial and left without comment. Lojevic will be back in court August 31st for sentencing. Al Sweeney, CHCH News.